<laughs> we got meat birds coming. <laughs> It's not very often that I get all three of my cats together in one picture. <laughs> Halloween, Foxy, and Marshmallow. Now, oh, babies. And then I got these two. Luna, Cooper. Let me guess. Do you need to go outside? Is that what it is? You gotta go outside? Outside! <clears throat> okay, guys. So, as you recall, last year, this was our in-house, homemade, reused uh, brooder. Because we are getting 50 corners cross here this week, I have to get this ready. So, I'm gonna have to get all the stuff off of it which I've been working on I got the electric cord set up and then I got to go out to the shed and find all the supplies the heating lamp the um, the feeders the waterers but the corners cross are going to go in here for the first couple of days um, we do this just because we want to make sure the birds are all healthy there's no issues before we put them to the outside brooder. Now, right now, we're expecting freezing temperatures or frost temperatures the next three nights. So, luckily, the birds will be inside the house. But, I am kind of concerned to a little bit of a point because, you know, we don't want to lose any birds, period. So, um, because this is going to be birds that are going to go into our freezer in a few weeks. So, with all that said and put aside, I called the, uh, the hatchery, which is Welp Hatchery. I believe they're out of Iowa. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely put a link in there um, uh, to their website so you guys can check it out. But... Um, because it's already cold up there. There's been this last week. There was a snowstorm. The mail is running behind. I am a little concerned. So for right now, we're just going to go ahead and get everything set up and I'll show you guys all that. Plus get out the blankets for the freeze. Looks like another storm coming. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. Because over here, it's nice and sunny. <laughs> so I better get to move on really quick gathering eggs. Alright guys, got the brooder all set up. I brought in the container. That's our little brooder. Uh, but I normally store everything into this one. Just to keep it all in one location safe. I went to the store, uh, got some more bedding. Um, chick starter feed. I have the heater lamp hooked up and I have the bedding and everything set up and hopefully this is going to hold the 50 meat birds for a few days. Um, that way uh, we can just make sure they're okay before we put them in the outside brooder. And here it is with the heat lamp on. So that's going to be the setup. Holy. And this is what we're dealing with. We're going we're gonna to have to put something down. We're going to need more bricks. Are you sure with all the wind the bricks are going to hold this? Yeah. You just had something fall out of your pocket there. Yeah, I see that. We got to have enough to go all the way around then? The other side will be fine. Okay. The... All right, I'll get more bricks. All right, more bricks because we haven't gotten the uh, the wood yet because wood's a little bit a little bit expensive. We need the pressure treated stuff, but this is going to have to do the uh, 
Um, the next three days, we're supposed to get freezing temperatures at night. And the wind is supposed to be really blowing around. So we're hoping this will be enough to keep the wind out. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, it's not blowing around as much. <sighs> <laughs> I just got the call from the post office. My meat birds are in. And now, on one of the coldest days of the year, I got to get my car started. So, off to the post office. We will go. Can you hear them, guys? We got birds, huh? All right. Since it's only... Uh, let's see, it's up to 40 degrees now. When I left, it was 35, so we'll eventually warm up today, but I'm gonna get these guys home and get them into the brooder. Okay, guys, so I got the birds here. Now, when you do order birds of any sort, they come in these nice little cardboard containers, but I'm going to... Look, oh, I got the baby. You're so cold. Hi, guys. Hi guys, yes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and start taking them, picking them up one at a time. You dip their beak into the water so they know where it's at. And then you just let them go. Uh-oh, I got one dead bird. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get these done and I'll show you what ends up happening. Okay, so I only ended up with two dead birds, but when you order birds, they always throw in extra. And I'm sorry if the film is a little um, spotty here because I'm trying to give you guys as much light, but I actually have 50, so they gave me 52 birds, so I only lost a two. Everybody has been dumped, and I'm gonna let them settle down for right now and enjoy because they've been traveling in the cold from Idaho. Alright, this is without the extra lights so hopefully you guys can see them. And in the water I do have apple cider vinegar um, so that way it gives them a little bit of a boost because they've been traveling. And uh, they got food and I'll probably refill that water later today. Looks like everybody's happy. All right, just wanted to do a quick update. Let you guys know the meat birds are doing great. They are starting to get wings or wing feathers. As you can tell right there. Uh, we went ahead and took one of the uh, extra lights and put a, uh, a bulb in it. Just so that that way they would have some sunlight. Donald was able to get the bar in here. So tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and get some screws screwed in. Find me a hook or some chain. And then I'm going to get a bigger uh, waterer and feeder hanging. So that way I don't have to worry about them pooping on it and getting the uh, fluff in there. But so far, everybody's doing great. And since it's nighttime, it's time for them to go to bed. <laughs>